My love is as a fever longing still for that which longer nurses the disease. Feeding on that which doth preserve the ill, the uncertain, sickly appetite to please. My reason, the physician to my love, angry that his prescriptions are not kept, has left me, and I test the now full desire is that which physic did accept. Past cure I am, now reason is past care. And frantic mad, with ever more unrest, my thoughts and my discourse as madmen are. For I have sworn thee fair and thought thee bright, who art as dark as hell, as black as night. <laughs> An old own <laughs> Shakespeare in love. And I guess that's uh, his own sonnet, of course, in the beginning of the note, describes better what's going on uh, in, in the film than I can, or for that reason, anybody. <laughs> uh, Shakespeare is madly in love uh, in, in this uh, motion picture. Uh, his thoughts and his discourse as madmen are uh, a physician to his love <laughs> has left him. Uh, yes, um, and, and, and it's it's a comedy. It's funny. The excellent moment. That woman is a woman. <laughs> uh, one of the scenes, because indeed uh, part of the uh, of the plot. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow Viola says, "How can they have?" Uh, these uh, men who know nothing about love uh, portray women on stage. It, it was a time when women were not allowed on stage, and in that woman is a woman joke, uh, indeed the censor uh, identifies uh, Viola, aka Gwyneth Paltrow, as a woman on stage, and that's not allowed. Uh, <laughs> But then, uh, the cast is superb. Um, but Gwyneth Paltrow, in the days when she was not selling <laughs> uh, strange things, uh, as I understand she is doing now, she has uh, very expensive things uh, from the uh, domain of the erotica of, uh, of uh, sexual toys. <laughs> strange to some weird expensive uh, wellness uh, things. Uh, I've seen that on uh, uh, Stephen Colbert's show and um, it was funny. Uh, the prices were outrageous, but the idea was uh, funny as presented in the late night show. Termina does Colin Firth in a negative role as the suitor of Viola de Lesseps, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow in the title role. She won the Oscar and she cried for it. Uh, it became famous or infamous, depending on how you see it in that moment of accepting the Academy Award uh, for Best Actress in a Leading Role. And um, there's Judy Dench, who also won. It was also discussed that she has only a few minutes, I don't know, five in all, maybe four and a half uh, on screen. Hide the plot. You will end up by destroying us. Um, Tom Wilkinson, Ben Affleck, uh, so many others. Joseph Fiennes, Shakespeare that is. Well, in his, last summer, in his case, um, I'm not sure. I mean, for sure he is making a tremendous effort. Sometimes we can see convulsions on his face or something. Uh, but somehow it's not it's it's too heavy for him I think. and for any actor maybe that's, that's also true to play the best writer ever in the world maybe, probably with Marcel Proust I, I would venture to add um, is a superhuman task so, uh, it's difficult but the, the result is awkward at moment the film anyway went on to win seven uh, Academy Awards, including Best Picture. I mentioned Best Actress in a Leading Role, Best Actress in a Supporting Role, and so much more. Um, indeed, uh, a fabulous work. We, 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 we have, in a way, 
uh, an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, that is, Shakespeare in the film is working on it. We have that fabulous play, by the way, included by the Norwegian Book Club, maybe the most important list of best books. So the Norwegian Book Club, to which uh, the likes of Umberto Eco, Salman Rajdi have contributed, sending a list of best 100 novels ever written. And Romeo and Juliet is on that, with Hamlet and King Lear. Uh, Shakespeare has three works now. Um, Romeo and Juliet is uh, played on stage with Shakespeare in attendance and working on it and at the same time he falls in love with a woman Viola de Lesser, again, again, uh, who is pretending to be a man in order to be able to play a woman in the play so there's, there's, a, there's a funny double game or triple game there already and um, enchanting film but also a drama with very many serious moments and thought-provoking uh, food for thought inside.